Reverse engineering feels like one of those things you're supposed to eventually learn if you're serious about hacking, right? Like there's this unspoken rule that if you can't open a binary and immediately start parsing assembly in your head, you're not a real hacker. So you download Ghidra, fire up a random crack me, and the second it loads, you're greeted with lines like move EAX, D word, pointer, open bracket, EP minus 0x4, close bracket. Then compare EX with 0x1337 and jump not equal to location 40103C and your brain just blue screens. You sit there, staring at meaningless abbreviations and hexadecimal addresses, wondering why you ever thought this would be fun. The truth is, most people don't hate reverse engineering, they just hate assembly. And fair enough. Assembly is dense, cryptic, and brutally unforgiving. It wasn't made for humans. It was made for machines. And reading it line by line feels like translating a legal contract written in Morse code. But here's the secret that nobody says out loud, you don't have to love assembly to be good at reverse engineering. In fact, if you're someone who avoids low-level code because it feels like mental torture, you might already have the right mindset because reverse engineering isn't about memorizing opcodes. It's about thinking differently. It's not about translating every instruction. It's about understanding the program's behavior. If you can follow logic, track cause and effect, and be stubborn enough to poke at a binary until it gives up its secrets, you're already halfway to being dangerous. Most beginners fail at reverse engineering not because they're stupid, but because they approach it like normal code. They expect to open a file and read it top to bottom like it's a script or a Python program with helpful comments. But that's not how compiled binaries work. They're strip mangled, optimized, all the variable names are gone. Functions are renamed to fun4012ab, loops are unrolled. Conditionals are flattened, it's chaos. So the trick is don't read the binary, interrogate it. Start by looking at the strings, not the disassembly, not the entry point, just the plain text inside the binary. Strings are the easiest way to figure out what a program is doing. If you see something like invalid password or access granted, that's your signpost, that's the moment you pivot, click on that string, follow the cross reference, and suddenly you're deep inside the function that controls the program's logic. And here's where things get interesting. Instead of raw assembly, you open the decompiler. Tools like Ghidra or IDA give you a C like pseudocode view that's so much more readable. It's not perfect, sure, but it turns register juggling into actual logic. You'll see variables, comparisons, maybe even recognizable if-else blocks. Now it feels familiar. Now you're not guessing you're reading. But don't just rely on static analysis. Combine it with dynamic behavior. Run the binary in a debugger. Something like x64db edge or even basic Linux GDB if you're feeling masochistic. Put in fake input. Step through the program. Watch which functions get called. Look at memory changes. See how inputs flow through the code. You're not trying to reverse engineer the entire program. You're just trying to answer one question. What is this binary doing? And how can I manipulate it? The real mental shift happens when you stop trying to decode every instruction and start looking for leverage. You don't need to know every corner of the binary. You need to find one edge, one entry point, one weakness. Most of the time, that's all it takes. I've seen beginners spend hours trying to translate entire functions when all they needed to do was change one byte, one breakpoint, one comparison. That's the game. It's not about reading code. It's about bending it. But here's the thing that kills most people before they even get started. Even with all this strategy, you still hit those walls of assembly code that look like hieroglyphics. You know you need to understand what you're looking at to actually make money from bug bounties, malware analysis, or security consulting. But every tutorial teaches you how to write assembly from scratch instead of how to read and understand what's already there. That's why I created the Assembly Code Annotator and Pattern Detector, a tool that takes any assembly code snippet you're struggling with and instantly translates it into plain English explanations. Paste your confusing code and it immediately shows you this is a password check. This is a for loop. This section is just compiler noise, ignore it. No more staring at code for hours wondering what the hell you're looking at. You can find this exclusive tool inside our private Cyberflow Academy community, but that's honestly just the beginning. See, finding vulnerabilities is only half the battle. What? The real money comes from knowing how to turn those skills into serious income, and that's exactly what we teach inside. Our members aren't just finding bugs, they're cashing out big. Just last month, one of our guys pulled $12,000 from a single critical he found using advanced techniques we teach in the academy. We're talking about people who invested a less than $30 and made it back 20x over in their first quarter. Because here's what nobody tells you, the technical skills are just the entry fee. The real money comes from knowing which programs pay fast, how to write reports that get maximum payouts, building relationships with security teams, and scaling your workflow so you're not trading time for money anymore. We teach you the business side that everyone else ignores. And since you made it this far, I'm hooking you up with 50% off using code CYBER50, but this expires in 24 hours because I can't keep this price forever. First link in the description. 
But even if you don't join, I want you to remember this, you don't need to be some assembly wizard to reverse engineer code. You don't need to read every instruction. You don't need to like it. You just need to outsmart it. Reverse engineering is just debugging backwards. And if you can stay curious and ask the right questions, you'll go farther than people who memorize opcodes but don't actually know what they're looking for. So yeah, go ahead. Hate assembly. It doesn't care. But learn how to beat it anyway. That's what makes you dangerous.